This podcast is brought to you by Liquid Bust. Liquid Bust. It's fucking awesome. Masturbation is required the best when drinking liquid bust. Kid, bust-y. whenever I was a child, so don't freak out. Jesus. Okay, Jesus Christ, Mark. Um, they had like webbed feet. Oh, that's crazy. They are such good swimmers. Webbed, webbed toes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She such, became a swimmer, dude. Such, no, no actually. I don't know. Oh, my God. That would have been so funny. Met that would have been a highlight. Again. Yeah, dude. Um, I heard way back in the day, I was like 13 or 14, that if you finger a chick with your fingers crossed and you go in like a screwdriver motion, that it's like the best thing ever for him. So I tried that on my first girlfriend. She goes, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Can't believe everything you read online, I guess. I, I'm not a house. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm not a house. I'm not a piece of wood that you can just put a screw into. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just some fucking piece of wood. Yeah, my throat is burning now, dude. Oh, but yeah, we uh, By the threw way, up to start, again. Yeah, to start episode 55, we threw up again. It might become a ritual. But you know what's funny? It happened the exact fucking same way because Dylan's like, oh, yep, I got to go throw up. I'm like, oh, going outside. Something happens to me like when I drink a bunch of beer and I smoke a bunch of cigarettes. It's just the way that the cigarette hits me in the back of the throat, kind of like a black dude. Pause. It fucking, good shit, Mark. It, 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 it makes me gag. And I've got the weakest stomach like of all time. Not to like just gross <laughs> shit in general. Like <laughs> if I... No, like if you gag, yeah, if you do that, it's not going to make me gag. Okay, so stop. And um, okay, nobody wants to hear that. So um, uh, No one does like, want to hear that. But It's just the weirdest shit ever. Like if, I, if I'm smoking cigarettes and it hit, if I inhale it the wrong way, I'm puking, dude. You know? Mm. And so sorry, listeners, that we've, we've opened two episodes in a row with puking, you know? If I look at you the wrong way while you're puking, I puke. That's hilarious. And it was also super funny because you were like trying to make me puke by gagging. <laughs> And I puked at the same time as you as you went. No, well, well, I was like doing the gag noises, and then I was like, and then I actually gagged. And then you threw <laughs> yeah, up. And I threw up. You fucking puked, <laughs> you bitch. That's what you get, dude, for trying to make me puke. The puke, god, you piece glad, of shit. I'm glad I didn't puke. No, well, Josh, you haven't gone outside the last two times yeah. that we've gone to puke. So. We need to I play don't. puke roulette. We need to play puke roulette. We'll see who. We'll just keep making ourselves gag. And then first uh, one who pukes. First one who pukes is gay. <laughs> first one that pukes is gay. And we have to chug so much fucking beer. beer. Yeah. Oh my god. We just said it at the same time. We, we should go fuck. outside and puke. We should want to go outside and puke right now, dude. Are you right. fucking kidding me? Let's get off the puking thing. Um. Uh, have you guys right. seen the new Hellraiser? That's a chick now. But actually, psych. They are non-binary. Oh, I was gonna say trans Hellraiser. Tra- I think it is. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like, why? It's a fucking monster, you know? Why does a monster have to be woke? Some dude on Twitter was like, oh, so it's a it's a transgender um, person that gets off by mutilating themselves. Hmm, fits. Well, what? yeah, fits. <laughs> I was like, Literally fits. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a burn. That's like, damn. All right, dude. Three million dollars. I would not become a trans person. No, that's not the, that's not the question here. Three million dollars, and you have to be part of... You have to be part of human chimpanzee mating trials. Am I the human or the chimp? You're you're you. Oh, okay. Three million. That's there's no negotiating that price whatsoever. Just f- fuck a chimp for three million dollars. You got to see what happens. You could get AIDS. That's how eight. Yeah, I was about to say that's how AIDS yeah. happened. But there's a chance you don't get AIDS and you just get three million dollars. You taking that chance, Josh? What uh, what, what kind of chimp are we talking about? So a chimpanzee woman for sure. Uh, yes, definitely a female chimpanzee. It has to have a pussy. Yeah, I would do it. Would is do it, it you would do it? Three million? Yeah. I'm right there with Three you. Is it docile or do I have to like catch a monkey in the it's wild? It's a chimp. Like is well, yeah. Is it a nice chimp that's been like an actor that's there's, been in movies? There's no such thing as a nice chimp, dude. Yeah, they're all mad, especially when you're trying to fuck it. I guess. Yeah. Well, did you ever hear that story of the woman that had a pet chimpanzee and it just fucking mauled her? Yeah. She had it for like years and it just took her face away. So the so in the trials, do they have like the chimp like hooked up to something where it doesn't fucking rip my face off? Yeah, it's hooked up to your penis. Oh my god! So like <laughs> they just put me in a room. They're like, all right, go ahead, fuck all the right, chimp. Go ahead. <laughs> they give you like a Playboy magazine to get started, but it's all a Playboy magazine full of naked chimp chicks, and they have like big chimp tits and shit. You're gonna have to go through some uh, three weeks of training to actually get turned on by a chimp. Yes. I'm like, three Leon. million fucking dollars. Is this taxed? Is this is this gonna be taxed? They're like, no, nah. definitely. <laughs> it's like a it's like a two way mirror. They're yeah, they're watching, watching the you. They're watching you. They're eating skinny pop and they're fucking drinking mm. cream sodas. 
watching you try to fuck this chimp. They're watching you try to fuck this chimp, and then the, the chimp just mauls you, dude. It just goes nuts. So <laughs> so it's not... Oh my. So it's $3 million and fu- try to, like, rape a try fucking chimp. Try to rape a chimp. Yeah. Okay. Good no. luck. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Uh, die. Get your dick ripped off by a chimp. No, literally get your dick ripped off, dude. They oh, don't, the chimps don't give a fuck, man. What if I get a bottle of wine? What, are you going to fucking hit it over the head with it? No, no. I'm going to be like, hey, look. We're going off on the wrong foot here. It's going right. to mm-hmm. start jumping up bottle and down. Bottle of wine, two glasses. Yeah, it's right. a banana. Yeah, yeah it's going to start. Okay, so it's going to start jumping up and down, and it's going to land on your shoulders and twist your head off like it's a fucking bottle cap. Nah, dude. I'll. Can I wear a chimp suit? You can wear a chimp suit. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wear yeah, a chimp yeah. suit. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is this is what it is. What would you do if you had to fuck a chimp and, and like in a room in oh front of God. scientists? What, what's your approach? I'm would you, bringing a shotgun, killing the chimp, and then fucking the corpse. No, you That's can't. That's the you, only you way you can kill survive. It. You oh can't kill God. it. That's you can only. subdue it. No, you can't. They're made of fucking concrete, Well, bro. if you can, then you could. Well, you can't, so you couldn't. <laughs> but if you would, you should. <laughs> but then you won't, so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> the scientists are like, oh, these guys have jokes. <laughs> well, these guys are really funny. Maybe we should just put them on three microphones and record them instead. <laughs> and if we come back, we're like, we're like in the hospital. And then Josh comes to uh, doesn't like, matter how it's sex. <laughs> <laughs> We're like all fucked up. We have like our like casts on our legs and shit like that. And yeah. you like lost an eye or something. And then Josh comes in with like I a chimp girlfriend. Josh comes in with the <laughs> baddest chimp bitch you've ever seen, dude. Guys, this is Zimbabwe. This um, is Zimbabwe, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you throw me that torch. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, how the fuck you do it? Yeah. Fucking. Nah, I got nothing. Yeah, he's got a fucking. You gotta fuck him. <laughs> That's funny as hell. God damn. Man. How would? How would, Yeah. Okay. I mean, how could you pull off? Fuck. I don't. I don't care. I don't, I, you know what? Just at this point, we've already gone through it. Kill the chimp or be a hot chimp. You know. Yeah. You'd have to bribe it of some like with something. I've got so many bananas. Hey. Yeah. You see those bananas and oranges? Yeah. Over there? It's, dude, it's so crazy that people will take those things as pets. Michael Jackson had a fucking chimp. You think he molested the chimp? No, no, he would have well. died. He would have died. He would have gotten his that fucking. Chimp wouldn't like him. No, he would have gotten his face ripped off, dude. A pissed but off. I would rather fight three Rottweilers than a pissed off chimp. <laughs> Michael Jackson comes up with a song. I fucked the chimp. I fucking chimp. <laughs> the chip one. It's like, what does this song mean? He's being really subliminal with these with these lines. He's like, I fucked a chimp, but no, like I literally <laughs> fucked the chimp. And it's like, what does that mean? Literally. I, I fucked fuck that chimp, chimp yeah, in, <laughs> in his chimp ass. <laughs> <laughs> What's your little chimp ass? That almost sounds like we're, we're slurring. Chimpanzee, he's we're getting fucked. Yeah, man. Yeah, but that's... Fucking Jesus Christ. But what would it take? To <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, my God. No, there, but what is sickening is... People have them as pets. I can't believe it. I mean, that, no, nah, I mean, well, if it's chill and like, I saw I saw a video of a chimp smoking out of a bong, no shit, and then it was like ripped and they were passing around a blunt and then uh, they tap the monkey because it was like passing out and they give it to him and he's like, he just looks at it and he just goes back to sleep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought that was going to get a lot darker. I thought you were going to say he just killed everyone And then they fuck the, the chimp, yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, uh, Damn it. But there's conventions. It's called like zoo files, zoophilia people oh, yeah. that fuck their dog, and then they have they bring their dogs, and they're all like, they're all just like, don't they're... tell anybody yeah. what's going on. <laughs> this is yeah. a very secret convention called the zoophilia convention. The dog's like, shut them, don't don't you look, fucking look at me in that. Well, people will be like, yeah, they're, they're consensual partners, and then I just fuck my. Yeah, bro. No, they're not. I don't think. Can How? you even get consent from an animal? No. Hey, hey, hey animal. Write down on no, on a note right now that you consent to me fucking put, you. Put your paw right here. Sign it. Yeah, like it. No, it, you it you're never gonna get consent from your dog to fuck. You no, know? That, that needs to be like life in prison. That needs. And I then, think it's a pretty serious. It's a, it's a pretty serious offense, Beastie. At right? least fifteen years. All right, uh, Johnny, you've been uh, you've been on good behavior, so we're going to reward you with a service animal. It's a chimp that you have to fuck. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> squid, squid Games is like, try to fuck this chimp. <laughs> yeah, the next thing is like, all right, you get 
30 billion dollars, but you have to try to fuck this chimp. And damn, we really can't get away from fucking this chimp, dude. We keep talking about it. Subconsciously, I think we all want to fuck a chimp. I mean, we all have boners right now. I'm going to go ahead and call us all out. We all want to fuck a chimp. We thought about it. Not um, like considered, but thought about it. I've definitely thought about, like, is it possible? It's not. You're, nobody's ever going to fuck a chimp. The uh, chimp is going to turn around and rip their head off. Would you try to... Fu- okay. All right. We'll switch it up a little bit. Yep. Would you rather try to fuck a giraffe? Or... They're pretty hot. I mean, yeah, but they're tall. Yeah, I like so tall you- guys. <laughs> okay. okay. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> All right. Would you rather try to fuck a giraffe or... Uh, Fuck a giraffe or try to, like, get head from a decently sized fish. Like a tuna? Do they have teeth? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. They probably have, like, a the jaw strength. Well, giraffe have teeth. Giraffes are, like, deer with long necks. You know, that's all they are. Yeah. you. <laughs> I could just imagine you, like, trying to run around with a ladder just trying to, like. <laughs> just trying to suck off a giraffe. You're like, wait, just stand still for a second. <laughs> 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 oh <my God. laughs> okay, fucking. I was thinking about uh, like a dude that's really into collecting pops, and uh, he's having his first kid, and he's like, "Oh no, like you can't take the kid out of the package, or the value goes down." Oh yeah, <laughs> you can't. And don't don't take Billy out of the package, or he goes down. In the value. We cannot traffic him any further. They're like, oh, no, oh. he's British now. Uh, oh, please don't. Oh, don't push the child. Hey, doctor, can you not take the child out of the placenta? Please don't take it out. The, of the value placenta. goes down. Yes, leave it in the placenta. Leave it in the womb. Matter of fact, <laughs> I've been pregnant for eleven months. Please let me give birth. No, it devalues the child. Meredith, please. We have to sell it on eBay. We have to sell it on Etsy. We made it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> God, selling a kid on Etsy. That would be fucking... Well, you remember, you remember um, like four or five years ago when the whole like Pizzagate conspiracy was starting up? I'm sure it was more than four or five years ago, but then they they found this furniture website where they'd have like... We've been fucking pizza for we've thousands been fucking, of years. We've been having <laughs> sex with Little Caesar himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, it was that furniture website where they would have, like, a dresser for, like, $30,000, and, and somebody was like, that's a kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, dog, that's a kid. Dog, dog, that's a kid. Why is this dresser named Timothy? If I had, if I tell you, I'd have to fuck you. <laughs> if I tell you, you have to go to the island. <laughs> yeah. But Mr. Epstein, I, I don't But want Mr. Epstein... <laughs> Epstein, but Mr. Mr. Epstein, I can't. It's actually pronounced Epstein. <laughs> I'm Jewish, but I'm also British. I'm, I'm a British Jew. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> oh man, let's not go. But let's not go back into Epstein <laughs> all <laughs> over again. <laughs> oh, dude. <coughs> Woo. Okay, let's actually go back into Epstein. Why? <laughs> it's kind of Epstein. Why is it that when guys are caught with child porn, they're caught with? So much child porn. It's never like, yes, Mr. Timothy was caught with 500 megabytes of child porn. It's always like, yes, we searched his computer, we found three terabytes of child porn. Yeah, like, what in the fuck? First of all, those are some slutty kids. Some slutty kids for for sure, yeah. <laughs> Josh, what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Why are they sending all these pics to people? Okay. Yeah, it is. That is a fucking problem. That's, yeah, that's a valid question. How nobody talks about the child porn industry. It's maybe. Uh, I mean, Most, it's, <laughs> we're it's, just uncomfortable. We're just so scared right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just we just don't really want to. We don't really want to talk about this, but we're, it's a comedy podcast. We have to. No, um, the people. No, because like the society as a whole is like, yeah, that's just we. We really just don't want to. Well, I mean, it's bad, but like we just we, we just want to dive really wanna, into that. We don't yeah. really want to dive into that. <laughs> Yeah, I heard I heard a statistic somewhere that was like ninety percent of people caught with child porn don't want to have it, and it's like, why do you have it then? <laughs> what? A, did it just get accidentally emailed to you, Tucker Carlson? No, child porn. Child porn has been caught with over three hundred <laughs> males. Only a hundred of them wanted it. Child porn, a national tragedy or awesome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I was about to say child porn. It's awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody clip that, please. Please, I was just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh wait. Oh my god. Wow. 
wow, man. If we ever want like a corporate job anywhere, it's over for us. Uh, yeah, you uh, passed your drug test. Uh, your uh, resume looks quite well. You now we just with... have to see if you have a podcast prior to, <laughs> prior to applying to this job. Now, you don't happen to have a podcast that features uh, crude jokes or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and go. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> <laughs> you just look, you're like, I'm, I'm just going to go. I had to hit a chick with that fucking, I had an interview uh, <laughs> That's going to be a clip, ago. too. I had to hit a chick. <laughs> I had to hit a chick. Yeah, I had to. I had to hit this older lady with that with that comment exactly. She uh, she put on the Indeed thing. She was like, "Yeah, guaranteed forty hours a week, seventeen dollars an hour." I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm I'm broke. Hell yeah, I'll take that." And I get to the place at like nine in the morning. I walk in, sit down, and she's like, "There's another guy in there, already filling out an application." And she goes, "Boys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out and have to go out and have to tell you, it's not forty hours a week guaranteed. This is on call work." And I go, "I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not interested. Sorry for wasting your time. And just head it out, dude." She was like, "Oh no, you didn't waste my time. I'll go ahead and I'll keep your application just in case something else comes up." And I go, "Nah," <laughs> and I just left. <laughs> go ahead, and rip it up. go ahead and rip that shit up. My social security number's on there. Go ahead and go ahead and delete that fucking application. Dude, you shred that, that shit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and shred <laughs> that immediately. Well, as a matter of fact, let me watch you shred that. And she just puts it in her pussy and <laughs> fucking. Let me let, let me do that. <laughs> oh my, so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm actually really interested in the job now. I need to I need to know more about you. I gotta. You want to go on a date? Actually, <laughs> are you are you single? Yeah, they call me Shredder Pussy. They call me Shredder Puss. <laughs> what if that was what Shredder was in the in the in the, uh, the Ninja Turtles? It's like, oh fuck, it's Shredder. Don't put your dick in him. It's a, it's over if you put your dick in him. He'll shred you. <laughs> Not even funny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to fake laugh at that, Mark. It's okay. No, I'm laughing at how you just do. It was like when Josh was like, fucking. What if like Anne Frank was a Pokemon? Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> I was at work and that killed my ass. <laughs> and while that was very funny, Josh, it, I was I mean, more laughing at how you thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Little lore, little lore in the wanted taste oh podcast episodes. Uh, if you go back a little bit to that, ep- I don't know which episode. We're not it is. gonna tell them which episode, so they have to listen to all of them to figure out mm. which one it is. <laughs> you have to listen to all of them. Oh, now you have to listen to every episode. And now you have to listen to every episode. Yeah, man. Fuck Shredder. He's a pussy. Speaking of fuck, dude. <laughs> shut the fuck. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Is probably my favorite. Um, like. Sentence with a curse word. Oh yeah, that's 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 one of the best ones. Shut, it, shut the fuck up. It applies to everything, dude. You can always tell someone to shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Or shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. Or even if you're laughing, it's like <laughs> shut the <laughs> fuck, the fuck up, up, dude. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. Oh, yeah, shut the does. fuck up right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Whenever I lost my virginity. Oh yeah. Oh, but shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> No, okay, so I got to explain. Uh, we already did. We did. I don't know if we... I, we did say, oh, but shut the fuck up. Oh, shut the we fuck did, up. We did, yeah. She just kept moaning really loud. And, yeah. then, and then I kept looking at Dylan, because he was in the room. And uh, I was like, oh, but shut the fuck It's not even that I was in the room. I was on the bed next to the bed that you guys were fucking on. Pretending to sleep. Pretending to sleep, and but also... Off. but No, not jerking off. That would have been funny as hell, dude. If I, dude, imagine like you're just you just start smashing this chick, and I roll over on my back, throw the blankets off, and I just start jerking off watching you guys, dude. <laughs> if you did that, I mean, it would have been an even better virginity losing story. It would have been an honor to jerk off to you losing your virginity, brother. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It would have been a fucking honor. <laughs> God. Man, I wish we had our current brands when we were 16, because that would have been so funny. Dude, a podcast with 16-year-old oh, us. Oh, my God. We were so dumb, though. I... It would never happen, and if it did, it'd freak me out. But if we got our younger selves on the pod with us, oh, dude, that would be hilarious. We should have, we should have went, we should have in high school figured out we were gonna have a podcast, recorded episodes of us like talking to us now. Yeah, I'm so pissed. So Yancey used to do that. He would like when when me and Chanch and Yance were hanging out in my old room. We he would like just click voice memos on his phone and just set it down and record us talking. And it's like the earliest kind of quote-unquote podcast thing that exists of That's me. Awesome. 
It was fucking awesome. But he's gotten like three new phones since then, so all those files are lost in the fucking oblivion of whatever Apple holds. Yeah. So, dude, if we could get a hold of those. He talks about them often. He's like, dude, I fucking I miss when we used to record ourselves and shit. I mean, and it was like bullshit, too. We would like freestyle just terribly. And then. Oh, I, I, but at your was, house? We but did it was that so once. much fun, dude. Remember when we were recording freestyles at your house? Oh, my God. Do you dude, remember yeah. that? Your mom's, dude? Yeah, dude. Fuck. I re- and Yance freestyled for like five minutes. For like five minutes straight. It was crazy. It was, yeah. And, but, I mean,. And it was good. Yeah. I mean, from what I remember, because he has a certain... Fl- anyway. No one cares. Anyway, whatever. No one whatever. Cares. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> Literally nobody cares. Reminiscing. And yeah. then it's inside. And then it's like a story we only know, and then it's not really entertaining. But it's yeah. all good. We don't know what we're talking about. Oh, okay. But whoever knows what they're talking about. I don't know? know what I'm talking about most of the time. I remember like back when we were 12, right when Osama bin Laden got killed, my grandpa like saw it on the news, and he was like, <sighs> that's great and all, but we'll never figure out the man who killed him. And then the next day, CNN was like, sitting down with the man who killed us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm British for some reason. I'm British for some reason, and we're reporting <coughs> on American news. Dude, but the British accent comes out when someone's evil or like, <laughs> on the news. Or we just really need to laugh right then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what happens. Fuck, speaking of Europeans, dude, they'll give up their guns. Just to kill each other at a football, at a soccer game. They'll give up their guns just to stab each other. Yeah, like, br- Europe, the the most peaceful country due to not having guns. Oh, this just in, one of the soccer games in, in fucking wherever, 17 people killed each 17 other. 17 people killed by a bomb. <laughs> yeah, because the, uh, yeah. the other team had too many red cards. Yeah, dude. Uh, like, so the UK, no guns, right? Can't have them. Can't yeah. buy them, can't have them. Um, the Ariana Grande concert where just like 30 people got blown up by a fucking bomb in the UK. Hey, man. Bombs. Guns aren't really the issue, I guess. Well, another thing is the there's thing- been... Uh, I'm go sorry, ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. There's, there's, a, there's so many like on scooter or on bike, like motorcycle, rob it, like just in the street. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, people get robbed all the dude. fucking time. Hey, mate, run me your fucking shit. Run me your golf. Run me your golf. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> But uh, I don't know what that means. Dude, speaking of motorcycles, have you heard that Brazil has legalized running over motorcycle robbers? Good. Jesus Dude, Christ. no, it's so good. Absolutely good. But it's so funny, the clips of, like, the two guys riding up on a motorcycle with a gun and then just a white Escalade plows <laughs> right over them, dude. It's fucking awesome, dude. I saw a video of this dude get, ah, it might be fake because all the comments were like, oh, this is fake as fuck. Uh, this dude gets... Held up at knife point with a motor at a motorcycle, like when this dude was riding a motorcycle. Jesus Christ, had a brain aneurysm. I've seen that video. And then uh, he he's like, "All right, dude, fuck, take the bike, dude." Get the dude gets on the bike, and then dude pulls out a gun, shoots shoots him twice. In the yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. The way that guy falls, it looks it looks real. They said this dude has a channel full of that shit. Really? Which I mean, we'll we'll do some fucking fact checking after we record the episode because we're busy right now, obviously, but. When At this we... point, that video looked real as fuck. And if it is fake, props to that guy who fell for looking like he got shot and fell over. Oh, yeah, dude. He that guy's got shot before. That guy's obviously watched a bunch of videos where guys get shot. It's so weird, dude. Like, videos where guys actually are getting shot, they just lock up and fall over. It's like not like movies or video games like, whatsoever. Uh... Exactly, yeah. It's, it's not like a movie where they fucking like react all huge and fall backwards. They just freeze up like they got tased. Yeah. It's fucking eerie, dude. It's it's not. I don't know, bro. I will say, anytime I I come across a video on Reddit or something of somebody dying, I do feel a lot better about myself. I'm like, at least that's not happening to me, you know. I saw fucking a video of these people fighting. Two, two I think two people were just fighting next to a fucking uh, like subway that was coming by. It was it was still moving. Oh no! And this one dude steps in. To uh, like break them up, gets fucking stuck in between the subway and gets killed. Oh no! I'm like, all right, never helping somebody next to something dangerous. Oh, never trying to break up a fight, dude. No, no, fuck no, never. And I've seen so many videos. Andrew Tate actually brought this up. Andrew Tate. Uh, he was talking about how the British, not British. So many people have been the, in fight videos. You'll see the guy with his girlfriend in a confrontation with somebody else, and the girlfriend holds the boyfriend back, and then he gets clocked and knocked out because his arms are getting held by his girlfriend. Yeah. 
So there's there, there's one thing that um, it was one of the Tate brothers said that was it was talking about like self defense on the street, and you know like for the last ten years we've heard jujitsu is the best self defense you can learn. It's the best one. It's like it's like foolproof, quote unquote, whatever. Yeah, one on one. So one of the Tate brothers was like, um, if you are in a street fight, do not try to take him down because one of his friends is going to come stomp on your head and kill you. The best thing you can do is learn boxing or run the fuck away. That's a really good. Was that good? That's a good Tristan. I feel I feel that's great good, about that's that. That's a really good Tristan. I, I, can, I, I, I can differentiate between Tristan and Andrew. I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of want to suck my own dick for that impression. You should suck. <laughs> Matter of fact, whip it out, dude. Matter of fact, we're pausing and we're we're getting head right now. God damn, Mark, that was some good ass head. I mean, shit. They don't call me fucking good head giver for no reason. <laughs> Nobody calls you that. But, <laughs> hey, but so yeah, dude. Like, I feel like they're completely right on that. Do not try to pull guard on somebody if you're like in a parking lot fighting. It, you know. It's, in a group, yeah, probably kickboxing and maybe a little bit of karate would would because you're. I've seen so many fight videos of people getting charged by, like, two guys. Boom, dude knocks them out. Boom, knocks out the other dude. I've yeah. never seen some dude, like, t- t- fucking choke someone out real quick and then catch the other guy, choke him out again. Yeah. It, it never, doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I've never seen that. I've seen, like, three real street fight videos where jujitsu is paid off. Now, one-on-one, though. Now, yes, one-on-one, you're probably going to – it's like the Rogan clip. It's like, what's the practical use of jujitsu? Well, if we were in a fight, I would kill you. You know, it's like that. But this just in, Joe Rogan gets knocked the fuck out, killed by a boxer. This just in, Joe Rogan has his head stomped in a parking lot as he tries to pull guard. <laughs> and again with the British news. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> BBC. The BBC. This is the BBC. That's British. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Dude, hey, hey, man. Me drink me beer more. I took one sip, dude. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, drink out of bottles more, sure. That's fair. I took one sip, okay? Dude, you, you got some great head game. You're making that bottle fizz all I the time. I swear to God, swear I'm making God. it bust every time. Bust every time. Yeah. Bust every time. Have you guys ever, Mark, have you ever busted from just strictly head? Yeah. Really? I think. I've done it like once. It's it's happened once, and, and she was good at what she did, you know? The uh, Have I ever told this fucking story? I don't Maybe. Know. Uh, I think the first time I ever busted from head. Ma, go ahead and skip to yeah. 30 minutes and 30 seconds. Well, yeah, it's this is probably a three minute story or something like that. Yeah, Ma, go ahead and fucking go ahead and skip ahead. You're welcome. I'm gonna give you a couple more seconds. Okay, go ahead. A couple more seconds, just in case. Please go she ahead. Right your now. Phone out. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, this one time I used to work with this chick, and then uh, she flipped me off, and I flipped her off, and she was like, "You would." I was like, "Only in the mouth." And then, uh, whoa, that's yeah. a that's a good play right there. Good Only shit. in the mouth. And she was like, oh, shut up. I was like, I, I swear to God, take me home afterward. And then she was like, shut up. And then she tells she's taking me home afterward. And then uh, I was like, hey, pull on this fucking railroad track real quick. And she's like, you're crazy. I was like, just, just do it. Did so you she pull does over on the railroad track? Next to these, it's like behind these trees and shit like that. It was a secluded oh. spot. Okay, so I thought you were going with like pull over on these railroad tracks and we're going to see how fast you can make me bust before this train <laughs> kills <Yeah>. us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but uh, sorry. Yeah, and then she gives me head and I bust. And then I was like, uh, wasn't the proud? She wasn't the hottest chick. So then, uh, and then, but also, it's like I was afraid my parents would see and be like, "Oh, Mark, you could do so much better." So I was like, "Hey, yeah, just drop me off like right here, like oh. half a mile down the road from my house." And she's like, "What? Your your house is right there?" I'm like, "Yeah, no, it's all good. I want right, to walk." That chick. By Sorry. the way, I want to say that this episode has made Josh laugh more than I've ever seen him laugh on an episode, like, ever, I think. Yeah, he has a cue. So, <laughs> so, so, so to that note, not wanting your parents to see, there was there was this chick that, like, I welcome wasn't... Welcome back, Ma. Welcome back. So there was a chick <laughs> that I wasn't super into, um, and and she, like, wanted to fuck me really bad, and I was like, eh, you're kind of not my type. I don't really... I'm not really feeling it. And she was like, trust me, just let me blow you one time. <laughs> Busted in her fucking throat, and I was like, nice. "All right, we're fucking now." <laughs> I was like, "You win, you got me." Oh, dude, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. You got me, hook, line, and sinker, bitch. Uh, I remember uh, this one chick came into my work, and she had some nice curves. You know okay. what I'm saying? 
Well, so so when you say that, do you mean she was like a little bit of a bigger chick? She was short, like, and then she was yeah, she had like little, a little, a little chunky. On. Yeah, but I mean, but you know what I'm saying. But fuck it, dude. You know we're it was, adults. It was nice. We can fucking grow up a little bit. Look, I don't give a shit. It was nice. And then uh, so she she invited me over to her house as a kid. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, literally, like that's 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 that was my reaction when I met that chick on Tinder and found out that she had an, an estranged ten-year-old kid. I was God. like, "That's half my age. <laughs> You're nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> I was like, "So, <laughs> what happened to you?" Yeah. So I don't really like to get into it. <laughs> okay. Well, so I'm never getting on Tinder again. I actually deleted <laughs> Tinder because I just kept meeting like the worst chicks. <laughs> I deleted Tinder like two months ago because I was like, "This is a wasteland. This is nothing." No, that's where I, f- I f- it was on Tinder, but she came into my work one time. And I was like, <laughs> and she was like, yeah, dude. <laughs> and she, so I go over to her house. I was like, ooh, you have a baby? I didn't say it like actually I didn't say that, but she was like, yeah, here's my kid. Blah blah. blah I'm a single and mom. And you go, ooh. And that, well, dude, I didn't realize how fucking bad babies like stink, dude. The whole house smelled like. Uh, they don't have to. Well, hey, not check. like wash your baby. It it smelled like, not throw up. But maybe baby throw. I don't even know. I don't even know what that smell like, was. Did it smell like used diapers? diapers. It smelled like almost a dog. Oh my god! But uh, but it had like a, not like a a stench. It had like a fucking an odor. Yeah. So I would say, say so that synonyms. Yeah, but if you get what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> so synonyms but different. So synonyms but antonyms. Stench. Stench. I'm thinking more of like a. Like hot sauce, like kind of stings you, stench, you're or like of, shit. Stench, you're thinking of when I walked by the fish aisle at Costco, and I was like, "What the fuck is yes. that?" You know. Yes. And then odor is like when you're walking by kind of ruined food. Oh yeah, 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 dude. So the night before last, when yeah, I got off work, remember the way we The night before last, when I got off work, I, I walk into my house and I'm like, "Fuck, this trash kind of stinks." Like it didn't really reek yet. And then. um... I walk in last night. I walked in last night, dude, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, it smelled so bad. And I remembered Uh that a couple of days ago, I made some bacon, right? And then I had the remainder. It was like two or three pieces. I was like, I'm not eating two pieces of bacon. You know, I'm not cooking two whole pieces of fucking bacon. I'm not taking ten minutes to do that. So I just threw them away. Forgot about them. Mm -hmm. Stuffed, like, beer boxes on top of it, beer cans. You know what I'm saying? And that meat rotted in my trash can. (laughs) Dude, it smelled like fucking death in there, dude. Back dude, so, take piss. Yeah, so I had to take a piss. And um Yeah, man, so we were gonna do Sober October. And we um we, you know, fucking whatever month before October, too drunk to remember. September? Yeah, sure. Um we were all like, Yeah, we're gonna do fucking sober October this year. It's gonna rule. And then three hours into October first, Mark is like, Yeah, I drank two beers. And since told Mark, you guys, yeah, you fucking did. told you guys, you I did. Was, I was so, honest. So thank wasn't you. Wasn't going that. to. I appreciate you telling us. <laughs> so Mark admitting that gave Josh the confidence to admit that he hit the pen. <laughs> and uh, can I have the pen by the way? Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to get a new job, so I have to have clean piss. <laughs> so I decided I'm not going to smoke anything this whole month, CBD, and I'm and I'm just going to drink alcohol. And at first, of like. CBD. Of, of CBD, alcohol CBD. So the first, like, three days sucked dick. They were bullshit. It, I was pissed all the time. I was fucking, I was, I was mad at everything. But now it's been, a, it's been over a week, and I'm feeling like I'm not going to go back to smoking weed CBD like I was. Yeah. I'm not at all. Like, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't desire to. I feel way better right now. Well, people usually go, like, yeah, I got, as much as I loved weed CBD, uh, CBD. fucking... I took a year off, and I feel the best. I can Dude, blah, 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 this and that and list of this. I can say for myself, I feel more confident. I feel sharper. I feel funnier. I feel um, – I'm not, like, nervous to meet people anymore. And, and anyway, bro, it's, it's You've never fucking, really been like that. You're really good talking to people. Some, Maybe. I, I can bro, see sometimes, yeah, you're a little, you're bro, little shy. I would get to the point where – But who isn't? I would, like, wake up. Rip the cart like for an hour straight, and then I just go talk to my grandparents. Like everything was all cool, and like they're not cool with me smoking, you know CBD. And um, so yep. I would go over there, and I'd be just like hella nervous, right? I'd just be so like scared almost. Like I hope I don't fuck anything up over here. 
and now like I, whatever man I, I i feel better that's that's the general point i'm trying to get to here right. so i feel like i'll i'll you know when october's over i'll buy a cart and i'll hit it like before i go to bed i'll just get i'll just get blasted before just i go to bed just a little bit of coke cuz with no cbd for a month you i mean it's out of your system by that point like hair follicle tests whatever people can say whatever they want but it's out of my piss it's out of my blood right how much of a bitch was that one dude was like test his hair test his hair <laughs> yeah <laughs> fucking what asshole a fucking, what a bitch dude what a queef dude i can't fucking stand that guy hey actually test his hair actually go ahead and test his hair yeah i bet it's in his hair follicles <laughs> it's like hey Phil, shut the fuck up, <laughs> yeah. bitch. Phil, shut the fuck up, dude. Phil, you're acting like a bitch right now, dude. Yeah, Why don't you get out of here, huh? He's the guy that reminds the teacher about homework. Good exactly, shit, Josh. Josh. Yeah. Exactly, Good dude. Shit. Participation. Fucking pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go fuck yourself, Josh. <laughs> no, I wasn't calling you a pussy. I was calling Phil a pussy. You're included here, Josh. You're one of us. <laughs> You're fucking, you're part of the jokes, dude. I don't like being called a pussy. We're just guffing around. <laughs> so while I was taking a piss, I was thinking about, like, how how many VR simulators there are. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, like... So much porn, by the way. So much porn, which would be awesome. I, so I've, I've been thinking about buying a VR just to, like, watch porn in it and be like, holy shit, this is what fucking a chick is like. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, but um. <laughs> By the way, we're, so this fucking guy Dylan, nah, this fucking guy Dylan, dude, he uh, I went on a date today. <laughs> yes, and and I've been like falling asleep to Mark Norman funniest podcast moments, and it's just been like ingrained in my brain to just be Mark Norman, yeah. and I cannot stop. Literally, we're we're driving over to Dylan's house to get the charger to uh, for his laptop so we can do the fucking podcast. And then Dylan's doing Mark Norman mannerisms, but like f- to be funny, but not unironically. But not unironically. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> hey man, be you, hey. <laughs> bro. So this guy's like, yeah, dude, I was killing it with her parents and stuff like that. Like they were laughing, bro. Oh and, yeah. And then I was like, I had to channel my inner Mark Norman. And yeah, I was dude. Like, ah, I was channeling him. I. I so at first it was like unintentional, and then I realized it was working. So I was like, "I'm gonna keep rolling with this shit, dude." So we're looking for the middle seat belt for the back seat for this dude's car. It's 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 the the girl I'm on a date with. Her uncle, her uncle's driving, and I'm in the back seat looking for the the seat belt in the very back. I'm reaching over the the back seat to try to find it, and I go, "Ah, it's a dildo. <laughs> it's not a seat belt. <laughs> ah. ah, that's a dildo." <laughs> <laughs> Next week you're on your like Chris Rock shit. You're Next like, week I'm on sometimes, Chris Rock sometimes, sometimes. Mo- Motherfuckers just need to shut the fuck up, and yeah, then like, dude. and it killed, bro, and, and it, it fucking ripped, dude. and it ripped, it fucking ripped. Her parents ass, love dude. me, bro. Yeah. So anyway, VR simulators. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. You tore off on that one. Anyway. I did. I had to. So I was thinking about like you know, there's like lawnmower simulator. There's fucking car mechanic simulator. By the way, um, truck driving simulator. Truck driving wash. simulator. Let's say we Sky make diving. a couple new ones. It's like pedophile simulator. Okay. And then we got Holocaust Simulator. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> VR Holocaust Simulator is just like, oh, my God. All what's right, a, what's a Jewish name? Eugene? I don't know. Ari Shafir. Ari? <laughs> Please step up to this. Please step up to me. Step up to, do, to the line. Step up to the line, Ari, please. Ari, please step up to the line. <laughs> I don't know why my German goes Indian. Yeah, it does. It does. It's like how my British goes Australian. <laughs> it's fucking, what if, <laughs> no, what if like an Indian dude was like, I do support what Hitler is doing. I'm actually going to become a Nazi. I do support everything that the Nazis did in the 30s. And I. No, like an Indian Nazi. He's like. Ari, please step up to the fucking line. <laughs> you like white you're... piece of. You. <laughs> you, you a Jewish piece of shit. You're closer to us than I am to me. <laughs> <laughs> Jewish Alex Jones. <laughs> Jewish Alex Jones. Oh man, poor Alex Jones. There's oh, no conspiracies. Crazy. Don't even think about it. The Jewish people. Dude, did you see his interview with Andrew Callahan? Yes. Dude, just that he, was gas, bro. He was just losing his mind, Josh. So well, he was you just know, so frustrated with yeah, like people just exactly, he, but but he, but he didn't like a crazy. But you life. have to understand how fucking insane he sounded in that clip, right? Dink this, and we're gonna talk Chug. about this fucking Alex Jones interview, Josh. So Andrew Callahan, do you know who that is? The Channel Five News, all gas, no breaks. He does like the 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 fucking street journalism thing. You know what I'm uh, talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy. So okay. he interviews Alex Jones, and 
Callahan cannot get a fucking word in without Alex Jones being like, I killed those kids. It was me. I murdered everybody at Sandy Hook. It was me. You guys got me. Yep. I killed all of those kids. It was me. And Callahan was like, no, you did. And he's like, yep, I did. I killed them all. I created herpes. I created AIDS. Yeah. I created cancer. <laughs> I could fucking... I did it all. I'm evil. I am the devil. I forgot about that part, bro, but he definitely said he created herpes and AIDS. And um, what else? Obesity. He said he created obesity and autism. He just went in. like, And I get where he's coming from. Yeah. Like, everybody keeps blaming him for fucking what happened at Sandy Hook. But Alex Jones, you sounded fucking batshit crazy in that yeah, interview, brother. You s- but he did a great job of being Alex Jones in that. He did such a good job he of being Alex Jones. He probably made fucking... All gas, no breaks, so much raving. Do you think Rogan, after he saw that clip, he was like, yeah, I'm never going to have Alex Jones on my podcast again. Oh, fuck no, dude. Joe Rogan will get his on, get him on his podcast in a heartbeat, I'm telling you. I, but dude, they ban it. Like, in Spotify's a bitch. I don't know about nowadays. I don't know. He did the he did the episode with Tim Dillon and uh, Alex Jones. That was pretty good. By the way, dude, I cannot listen to a fucking... There was a compilation of Tim Dillon talking about conspiracy theories. Mm. I love Tim Dillon. I love him. I'm going to go ahead and say that. I fucking love him. I think he's so funny. But it's just... And, and I'm not saying that he believes everything he's talking about. I'm not saying that he's... He's uh, my he's, favorite straight comedian, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, I've got some news to break to you. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but... Mm. But so, he's doing this thing. So, I I... You know, I got home earlier, and I was like, guys, I'm going to take a nap before I come over. I fell asleep to a compilation of Tim Dillon talking about conspiracies, and I woke up feeling retarded. You know <laughs> what I'm talking about? He was talking about the QAnon uh, in- investigation of the, of, of the Epstein thing, mm. and him and Rogan were just going back and forth, just making so much sense. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, man. <laughs> That's enough. I'm going to have to. I felt gay after I watched Tim Dillon talk for that long, dude. <laughs> Man, he's so good at what he does, though, dude. He's so funny. He goes, he goes. Yeah, I started stand up in uh, in 2010, and um, you know, I was working in the mortgage business, and I and I can already tell I'm going back to that after <laughs> after this comedy thing doesn't work out. You know why? Oh yeah. Oh, the what's Tim Dillon? <clears throat> These fucking people. This fucking. He's he's New York kind of, or he is, is he Jersey. He's very. Uh, he's very very northeastern. One of the cities. You know, yeah. He likes the he likes the New York Jets. I'm gonna we'll work that. on that one. Yeah, honestly, just dude, the way I and I'm not saying I got Trump down, but the way I I started doing Trump a little bit better than the dog shit I was doing, uh, which is not which is not great. Um, no, was I just listened to Trump talk? And by the way, you cannot just listen to like a one minute clip of Trump talking. You you gotta listen to like hours. You know, and it, it's not even like your own decision. You start a clip and you're like, I can't stop. Wait, so <laughs> you you're know? telling me. You were listening to somebody who is Trump to try to mimic him exactly. by listening to how he talks. Yeah. How else would you do that? I mean, I guess just imagine <laughs> his voice. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> you got me. I just imagined him. I was about to be like, yeah, I just listened to his voice and I just said what he said. Like it was some <laughs> profound thing I figured out how to do. I'm such a bitch, Write dude. this down. Just, oh man, I got, hey, I'm Josh. Gonna, have comments. You know what I mean, man? Yeah, I listen. <laughs> yeah, dude. In the past, like, seven minutes, I've just heard you go. <laughs> dude, we, uh, okay, that's fine. Whatever. We can shit on Josh for not talking, but he has been laughing his ass off this episode, and I appreciate that so much, Josh. I mean, yeah. I mean, the re- what I usually go off of is, like, what would make you guys laugh? <laughs> that's just what I say. Lately, like, I would say the last, like, ten episodes have been... Just us shooting the shit. You know, like, there was a point where we would be like, all right, what notes do we have for this episode? What can we talk about this time? I mean, blah, 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 blah. And we would blank if we didn't have any fucking notes to go off of, you know? But especially these last two episodes, we have just been flowing off of each other so good, and we just got nuts at podcasting, dude. That's what happened. What, would you rather shit out of your nipples or your ears? Um, my nipples. Yeah, I would say nipples. Just that way, my hearing is not fucked up. Yeah. Because could you imagine mm. not being able to hear because you have shit in your ears? But you're the only one that does it. Exa- that makes it worse. Yeah, not I everyone would, shits out of their nipples. I would shit out of my nipples because a who 
really you can ever aim it better. Exactly, you yeah, can yeah. aim it better, yeah. Well, 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 but it takes so much longer. Like still the same amount of shit, and it hurts. It's the same amount of shit. You but ho- ears bigger holes. At the same time, whoever sees you take a shit, right, and you have to kill. Them. You have to kill them, and. <laughs> I feel like not a whole lot of people see my nipples, you know? So they're not going to see shit on my nipples. People see my ears, you know? Yeah, and then what if, like, you're trying to take a shit and, like, you're on a phone call? You're like, hold up, but I got I to gotta call you back. I got to take a shit. And they're like, what? And you, you just, just turn your head just sideways. Just take a shit. Do you, like, still bro. Have a, yeah. do you still have an asshole? You, no. Oh, You don't have an question. asshole anymore because uh, it doesn't make sense. That's a good question. You know what? No, yeah, you do have an asshole because uh, you have a G-spot there. Would you give up your asshole to fuck any hot chick that you've ever imagined or seen or know of? Do I have to shit anymore? No. Huh. Kind of like shitting. Kind of like But you would save so much time. Do you remember our close friend in, in, I'm talking like close friend in middle school to high school that we don't talk to. Exactly. So, and he goes, yeah, man, shitting feels really good. Oh, yeah, my God. I was like. And then we were like, "Mm." you're gay. You're, that's, yeah, that's, that's what's happening. So that's gay. <laughs> so, so sorry to that guy because I saw like I saw this article. I somewhere. was there when he said that. <laughs> yeah. So so sorry to that guy because I saw an article the other day that was like, yeah, uh, taking a shit actually stimulates some kind of glands that can that mm-hmm. can emulate an orgasm. Yeah. And I'm like, so we're all gay. We can. Yeah. Why did God make us inherently gay by giving us we like we can come by getting fucked in the ass? We have nipples and G spots, bro. We're women. We we do start out as a female in the womb, and then we progress yeah. into a male, which is wild. That's a close one. Dude. So Eve uh, came before Adam. Oh, exactly. Are we a mutation? I mean, prob- I don't know. Basically, I mean, yeah, you're on the right page there. I mean, you're not, you're not far off at all. The thing is. <laughs> yeah, the first mutation was like, hey, this one has a dick. <laughs> go, ahead, go, ahead, get, go ahead and get rid of that one, says God. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck. That's the problem. Yeah. So look, dude. What's um, that called? It's your prostate. You can come from your prostate gland getting stimulated. Yeah, which is so gay. <laughs> which is, which is like okay, okay. So if you believe in creationism, then you believe that like, it, it, let's say Christianity. You don't believe that gay, like being gay, is a sin inherently. Like just. Wanted to fuck a guy and stuff like that. But then why do you make it... Why did God make you able to come from getting fucked in the ass? We're all supposed to be gay. Like, destroyed. Destroyed. Another thing <laughs> is... Another thing is the, the line in the Bible that says, Man shall not lay with man as if a woman. Yeah. It, it actually translates to man shall not lay with child as if a woman. From Hebrew? From Hebrew, yeah. The, so this Get is the fuck out This is here, just dude. something I saw on the internet. Don't fucking take my word as 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 the Bible or anything. But apparently, the actual translation is "man shall not lay with child as with woman." So Whoa. these rednecks just made it up, dude. I mean, but being it's, gay is all cool, dude. Tim Dillon, you're good. But then it's kind of suspect that Epstein was a Jew and he fucked children. It's kind of suspect is, is that Epstein was a Jew and fucked children. Did Epstein actually fuck children or did he just orchestrate the fucking of children? And I don't know what's what. Well, I guess it's fucking a child is worse than. But but still, like, watch Maybe, it. Maybe, dude, because, like. Watching just, it happen. I mean, he had, he had Ghislaine that would, like. <sighs> I mean, shit, bro. If you were a Coke dealer, you wouldn't take a little bone with Coke, huh? Here's the thing. If you have anything to do with fucking children, I want to kill you. Yes. How about that? With and my bare hands. On that note, dude, can you guys, like, separate the art from the artist? Like, could you still watch a Bill Cosby stand-up special and laugh at it? Or could you just think, this guy raped chicks? No, I mean, I can't really. I I mean, maybe with Michael Jackson, I'm like, yeah, I'll still listen to a song. Maybe even R. Ke- Fuck, I, I'll listen to an R. Kelly song right now. But... Well, that's separating art from the art. <laughs> <laughs> Can you prove my point there, Mark? Okay, yeah, but if somebody was like, well, no, R. Kelly did some unfathomable shit, and I just, damn. There was a Twitter thread I saw that was like, Bill Cosby is not Bill Huxtable. And I was like, hey, man, Bill Cosby played Bill Huxtable. Okay, so whenever you watch the Cosby show, you're watching a dude that raped chicks, you know? Oof. It's like, man, it, like even Kevin Spacey. I know a lot of people are like Kevin Spacey is like one of the greatest ever. 
And and what he did was not like it's not as bad as literally fucking a child. So what he did was like just hara- like he definitely groped men, like young men, like 18 years old, which is very creepy, right? And I'm not trying to defend him at all. That's right. fucked up. And I like how in the last episode you're a Dahmer apologist. That's not what I was, dude. I was <laughs> and just now saying, you're a fucking spacey apologist. I was just saying the people that say Dahmer is the worst are wrong. There are people, there are guys, Dahmer's, Dahmer's bad. There are people worse. That's all I was saying. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> Chris Masterson. Who's that? Is that his name? Chris Masterson. Chris, uh, from that, that 70s show. Oh, and my the God. Ranch. The guy that played, yeah. uh, Hyde. I know what you're yeah. talking about. That guy Masterson. raped chicks. I can't watch that. What? Show. Yeah, the guy that played Hyde raped chicks. I, I like that. What? I like yes, him, bro. But no. Swear yeah. to God, dude. Yeah. No. Like, no. Okay, I don't know if he raped chicks, but there are rape allegations against him. Yeah. I'll say okay, that. we're good. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can still I can still watch that 70s show. Dude, that 70s show is my favorite fucking show, I dude. could never get into it. Is it really that good? It's gas, bro. Is it actually funny? Yeah, it it is, dude. Because Kelso would be like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh no! Oh, you fucked his mom!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I raped his. I fucked his mom. <laughs> That's what Hyde says. Yeah, that bro. I'll be so sad. And yeah, you, you, he, you do need to look that up. Hyde bro, reminds sure. me of like a of like a alternate dimension Bam Margera. Morgan Freeman too. He had uh, he had some uh, touchy no. allegations going on there. Well, he's fucking sick. They don't have touch allegations. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He just had to grab it by the pussy. You just have to grab it by the pussy. Hmm? Did you say he was sick? No, 60. 60. He's like 60. He's oh. like, he's like, Josh is like, thank God thank he's okay. Thank God. I can still fuck him. <laughs> I can still get molested. Yeah. <laughs> I should call him, you know. Yeah. Well, fuck. Well, it's, Whenever it's, it's the, almost like, sorry, okay. it's almost like the same thing as Leo, like dropping chicks at 25 years old. That's kind of weird, bro. Nah, he's Le- if I was Leo DiCaprio, I'd be like, all right, you're 21. Okay, so but you- but think you're you're 38, right? You mm. have an 18 year old daughter. Leonardo DiCaprio starts dating her. Current age, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. How do you feel? Can I get an article? <laughs> <laughs> Can I be in the next movie? Can I be in the next movie? Can I be in Titanic 2? <laughs> Look, because you're going to be my daughter, can I be in a movie? Yeah, dude. That's, that's, that's a good one. God damn it. Are you going to mention? Yeah, yeah you slipped me uh, maybe like, you. so you leave DiCaprio, right? He's like, I am. I'm like, yeah, why don't you slip me $20 and we'll be all right. It's weird, though, the, 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 the like limits that we give celebrities. You know, like Leo can dump a chick at 25 when he's like almost 48, right? But... Kevin Spacey can't fuck an eighteen-year-old dude. Can't reach down his pants and jerk him off. <laughs> <laughs> for a, for a part in the film, Perfect. consent, consent. Yeah, and apparently, you know, have you? Do you know like the Harvey Weinstein? Like what happened? What? So apparently, he just has like the worst dick ever. So he would like <laughs> yeah. he would like assault these chicks by just eating their pussy. <laughs> yeah, you like that? No, <laughs> no I don't. Surprise! And it's pussy. it's not funny. It's not funny yeah. what what he did. But it's funny to think that like. All these people think that Harvey Weinstein just raped chicks when he was just eating their pussy, you know, which still don't do that against their will. Don't ever do that against their will. I'll say that now just so I'm not fucking damned for what I'm saying, but (laughs) (laughs) Patrice O'Neal had a bit about Mike Tyson, like how, because Mike Tyson got, went to like prison for rape. Yeah, dude. And people love him. And uh, they, uh, well, (laughs) so... <laughs> I don't know if people love him as much as they're afraid of him. Patrice was like, "Yeah, when Mike got out of prison, uh, it w- by the way, it was for like oral rape. Like he would, and he was like, he Weinstein oh, chicks. He goes, oh my god, Mike Tyson was forcing uh, uh, bitches to suck his dick, and it was like, no, he was eating them out. Now he goes, case <laughs> closed. <laughs> yeah. oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. I remember then, that bit, dude. He was like, uh." And then Mike Tyson was on a fucking um, interview, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I, I would really would have. I, I wish I would have raped that bitch and, and her mama." And he was like, "That is something an innocent man <laughs> would say." <laughs> he said, I, "I'd rape a bitch and her mama." That is an angry man. <laughs> that, That's a pissed <laughs> off individual. <laughs> that is, so yeah, I don't think Mike raped that chick, dude. What about Kobe? Oof. You gotta remember it's it's a classic joke at this point when Ari when Ari said, Thank God it's a great day. 
a rapist has died <laughs> yeah. when Kobe died, dude. Dude, he got chewed by oh, the comment yeah, section, dude. bro. People Which, loved I mean, Kobe. Was he was he wrong? I don't. I believe Kobe might have done it more than Michael Jackson touched those kids. No way. Yes. Dude. No fucking way. Swear dude. to God, dude. You think Kobe raped more than Michael molested? You know what, though? I might have to backtrack on There's a two-part documentary on HBO Max about how many kids that Michael molested. But, but, but after he died, and then they're trying to get some... What if they're just trying to get some money off this? Because Michael Jack- So, So here's the thing. Here's what made me think that Michael Jackson didn't molest those kids. Okay. There was an interview with... Uh, that He went on like the news or some shit. I don't even know if it was the news, but it was just fucking whatever. He yeah. was getting interviewed. And... The uh, like the rage and and Michael Jackson sounds like this. So even when he's pissed off, it doesn't even sound like he pissed off. <laughs> okay, that's a really good Michael Jackson. So <laughs> don't ever do that again. I'm getting horny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anybody else hard? <laughs> he was like, no, I didn't fucking touch those kids. I swear to God, just fucking. But he like the he amount. Of, me. He was just so like angry, and I saw it, and I'm like, even past the plastic surgery, you can see it. It's like oh, I'm like, oh, he. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Why did Michael Jackson never get any backlash for just being a white guy after he was a black? Okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. It was a skin condition that he bleached his skin for. I remembered that halfway through my jab, and I'm sorry. But you know what made still me still molest kids. You know what made me think he actually did molest kids though, uh, is that uh, he he like did that weird kiss with the with. The lady he was dating at the time on stage, and it just looked like the most exactly, I'm actually yeah. gay touching kids type well, kiss. Let me tell you what what made me really think that he was molesting kids uh, even before he died. It's um what happened to Macaulay Culkin, like in his mid teens to early twenties career. Do you not remember? He was like on heroin, looked like shit all the oh, time. Oh yeah, he was. And maybe you could throw that to like he was a child star with too much popularity. He was in two fucking internationally famous Home Alone movies, but at the same time, so is Selena Gomez. She's chilling. She, She's not on heroin. Well, Jeanette McCurdy, the chick that played oh Sam from Sam and Carly. God, dude, that's a very dark story. She has a book out that says, I'm glad my mom died. Because, Exa- yeah. And then in the book, she describes how her mom got her into child acting and then was just a piece of shit to her. And then whenever she was making it big, she was making money. Uh, she was going through that bullshit with fucking Dan Schneider. That I was about to say, we don't even have to say uh, anything yeah, about Dan Schneider. Just dude. Google f- Dan Schneider and then try to fucking, not kill yourself. He's a fucking bitch, dude. I hope that guy gets fucking strangled. And it's wild because he's the he's like the most successful. Like he made the most successful shows in Nickelodeon, which he pisses was, me off. He was involved with Drake and Josh. He wrote, or he was like the main guy for iCarly. Yep. He was like the main guy for the the fucking uh, Sam and Cat yep. show. He was like the main guy for Victorious. Most more guests. So, which begs the question: Would you separate the artist from the art? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do still enjoy iCarly. Yes, I will <laughs> say that. British. <laughs> so what? He was into feet and children, and iCarly was a banger. And the creepiest thing is like. It's not even really that. It's just it's just like gross. Is that he made the Nickelodeon logo a foot for like the longest time? You remember that? Oh, dude! And then he made cat. Holy like, shit! He, I remember that. He made Ariana Grande. There was like a spinoff like it, internet series, and like they ma- he made her like suck her toes that and stuff. Like poor fucking girl, uh, dude. Uh, God uh, damn it! Uh, God we joke damn. around a lot on this podcast, okay. but one thing I do not fuck with is guys messing with children. Guys and messing I, with like, I told you guys anybody. that off the record like a couple weeks ago. I was like, that fucking piece of shit Brian Singer, that guy, that fuck that guy, dude. What Brian Singer? Who is he again? He's the guy that made uh, the first two X-Men movies, and then he's still making movies at this point. And he's just exploiting young boys, and nobody's saying anything about it. Which, so, which begs the question. Do you separate the art from the artist? <laughs> no, I was going to say. Are, are, is everyone really that pissed at Kramer for saying the N-word on stage? Honestly, like, at this point, no. Go ahead, Kramer. Keep yeah. doing your thing. Say it again. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. So the girl I went on a date with was talking about the Maroon 5 guy, uh, Adam Levine. Is that his name? <laughs> yeah. And she was like, yeah, I fucking I hate that guy. He cheated on his wife. And I was like, there are guys that just fuck kids that are still fucking, yeah. they're still doing shit, you still, know? Still, he's, he's, he's a very rich dude that 
get can get any pussy he wants, and then he for some reason got married when he's a superstar. Exactly makes no sense. Makes no fucking. It's it's about it makes about as much sense as somebody like, all right, let's have a kid getting married. Anyway, going off to the army. See you later. Have a good one, yeah, dude. It's like it it's bro. Like if you are if you have such notoriety and then you are a superstar, why are you getting fucking married? You are gonna cheat. Well, Jay Z cheated on Beyonce. There's no hope. That's crazy, dude. Imagine you're married to Beyonce. Are you cheating? And then you bitch? just cheat. <laughs> like, but then I don't know if I was Jay Z. I mean, maybe Beyonce's a bitch. Maybe Beyonce. Yeah, maybe Beyonce was just like, Would you like me to jump on me? and you're like, son of a. I'm fucking cheating on you. I'm cheating on did. you. If you like it, then you're be- <laughs> yeah, I, I'm literally married to. I'm, your name is Beyonce Z. Your name is. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the dumbest name It's the worst name I've ever heard in my life Next to Elon Musk's son or LGBTQ <laughs> Yeah SR70GTQ plus. Yeah. What the fuck are you thinking Elon Musk Elon Musk Quit being the most Oh my I Quit can't, being uh, the most South African guy I've ever <laughs> yeah. seen in my life Dude it's funny cause, you, cause Elon Musk is African American and then everybody the, on Twitter was like, no, that's just for black people. And I was like, oh, oh but that's kind of racist. Literally from, like from Africa. Literally from Africa. <laughs> so Elon Musk, are you from Africa? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So on Twitter, so I talked about this before, but there's a new race war that happened in, on fucking Twitter. Oh, God. It's the Asians versus the Native Americans. It, no, it's the same. It's literally the same. So Indians and black people just fucking hate each other, dude. Oh, damn it. <laughs> dude, so... The, You're almost from the same continent. Relax. Back in the day, on Twitter, the, this Indian dude posted a, a Indian club, and then they were playing the... Dunga, 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 and then everyone was like right. flipping shit, and then some black dude... Get, Goes, you know, it smell crazy in there. Oh no! And then, oh, these, dog. And then dude, uh, all these Indian dudes, were, Indian people were like, "You fucking n word, racist!" racist pe- Called dude, him the n word. Like, be, like you monkey piece of shit. Fucking oh no! Terrible stuff. Terrible. Mind you, that's you. <laughs> the first, the guy who cast the first stone didn't hold back. <laughs> it's all right. He threw stones. He threw stones within the glass house. Dude, yeah. So yeah. So recently, since this Dahmer shit came out, someone put the, still haven't seen it. No, by guy uh, posted on Twitter. He was like, "Man, if Jeffrey Dahmer was Indian, they would have caught his ass because they w- they wouldn't have caught his ass because they were like, yeah, it just smells that bad." Oh my and god! I've never seen so many n word slurs and oh shit like that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's dude. Crazy. So. So racist, but that's hilarious. Dude. So, it's God, and then it's wild how many. And then a bunch of people in the comments are like, "Oh, look at all these white people making uh, profiles of Indian people to make them look racist." Hey man, shut up. Hey bro, maybe like <laughs> two people did that. Yeah, exactly. Man, that's fucking. That's funny. Poor Indian guys, just trying to be Indian, you know. They're just trying to be Indian, dude. Like yeah. they're just trying to. They, they didn't. They didn't get to choose. They didn't get to choose. They, we they, didn't get to choose, dude. We just became the. We we were born with the best race, and <laughs> <laughs> it's not our fault. I mean, I'm tired of being guilty it's about not it. Our dude. fault that we just have this privilege that we were just cursed with. It sucks being the the, the person who invented the. Uh, <laughs> just give a fucking just flex. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks being the race that's had the floor for at least four hundred years. It sucks, man. God, it sucks having most of the presidents. <laughs> 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 fucking just God. One, I'm kidding. One black president we've had. One non-white president we've had, dude. <laughs> uh, we've had one orange one. It's all right. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Uh, ah, <laughs> Fucking Dylan Norman, uh, motherfucker, dude. Mark Pack. <laughs> oh, I gotta piss again, dude. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's tragic. Oh. Well, that's it. 